Hello Tech Support fans, my name is Evan and today we're going to take a look at another microcentertech.com support video. Uh, in this case we're going to take a look at Windows 7 and how to add an existing network printer. Now what that means is that we're going to look at a printer that's already connected to the network either through a wired or wireless internet connection or is plugged with a USB cable into a computer that's on the network and is sharing that printer. So let's go ahead and take a look on our Windows 7 machine at how to add a network printer. Okay, so now that we're at our Windows 7 desktop here, we're going to take a look at how to add the printer. So we're going to start by going to the Start button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once this opens up, go to Devices and Printers on the right side. Once the Devices and Printers window opens up, take a look here and see if the printer already shows up on your system. In this case it doesn't, so what we're going to do is go to Add a Printer at the top of the screen. Once we have this open, there's two different ways to add a networked printer. If you know the IP address of the printer, which you can usually find out by either printing a diagnostic page on the printer or through the menus on the printer screen itself, we can do add a local printer. It may seem a little counterintuitive, but that's how to add directly by an IP address. So we're going to go through that process here first. Once we get this opened up, you want to go to create a new port and then we will go to a standard TCP IP port. TCP IP is uh, the name for the communication on the network, so that's why it's a TCP IP port for a network device. So then we'll go down to next. In the host name or IP address box, you can enter the IP address for the printer itself. Now the port name doesn't make any difference. You can leave that as it is, or you can name it whatever you'd like. Once done, we'll go to Next. Now Windows may be able to find the drivers by itself, otherwise you can select the make and model of the printer from the list here. If it doesn't show up, you may want to try using Windows Update to download more printer driver models. Um, if you already have the drivers downloaded, you can go over here to Have Disk, and it will ask you where the disk is. Or in this case, we're going to actually select a folder on the computer rather than the disk itself. Although, if you have the drivers on a CD, you may be able to select that disk depending on how the manufacturer has set that up. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Browse. And we're going to go into the Libraries and Documents, and then the Xerox folder where I have it saved. And this is the drivers for that particular printer. Now you're going to see an INF file. That's going to be the one you need. It may or may not say the .inf at the, B at the end. But you should definitely see the uh, icon here with the little paper and a gear over it. That means it's a configuration file. So if you have that file selected, go ahead and click Open. Then click OK. Now it's going to give a couple different options here. And we're going to go ahead and select the model for this printer. Now, if there is already a driver installed on the computer and you've selected those drivers, it's going to give you the option to either use the driver that's currently installed or replace that with the one you've downloaded. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and allow it to use the currently installed driver. And then it allows you to give the printer a name. You can name it whatever you want. Um, you can name it Bob's Printer or Dan's Printer or whatever you want to call it. So we'll go ahead and go to Next. And it'll just take a moment here as it adds a printer. Now you have the option to share the printer on the network. In most cases, you probably want to click Do Not Share since the printer already exists on the network. And then you have the option here to print a test page. I'm going to go ahead and forego that for right now. We'll just go to Finish. Okay, so now that we've got the first method out of the way, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the second method, which is if you don't necessarily know the IP address of the printer. So let's start by going to Add a Printer, and then you're going to have Add a Network, Wireless, or Bluetooth Printer. And once you click on that, it should show you a list of all the printers on the network. So let's go ahead and see if it can locate the printer that we have connected here. And there it's come up for us. Now, once you have selected the printer that you want to connect to, just go ahead and hit Next. And this process is going to vary per machine. You may need to install drivers in this process as well, just as we did um, with the IP address process. But if it is connected to another computer on the network and they share the same operating system, for example, they're both Windows 7 or they're both Windows Vista, 
then you can actually, in most cases, download the drivers from that computer. Uh, Windows will do all the work for you. Again, you can pick the name here, whatever you want to call it. And then you hit Next. And you have the option to go ahead and print a test page here. I'm, again, going to go ahead and forego that and hit Finish. So you can see here, we now are connected to our Xerox Work Center networked printer. Um, that's the uh, basic process for connecting to a network printer in Windows 7. Uh, if you do have additional questions or need more information, definitely check out some other videos and articles at microcentertech.com. Join us through the live chat or even give us a phone call. Thanks for joining us.